have the whole business? I have some old business. Just going to take a half a minute. And at the public hearing we had, it seemed like the bottom line, what everybody's concern was, what is the bottom line? And I just, I never got a chance at the meeting. Everybody left to just, just sum it up in, in, you know, like 30 seconds. It appears to me that, and you, you provided a nice estimate of, of what needs to be done with the, the main issues there, which is I think they come up with 1.5 million. And if we borrowed that money, we'd have to put interest on it. And I've looked at it, everything that was in the master plan that needed to be done, and current um, estimates I think are around, around 2.4 million. So I just wanted to sum it up that, that the figures for everything that we need above and beyond those repairs would be about 2.4 million. And I just wanted to sum up that the three proposals that I really see out there. If we assess future water users, vacant lot owners, 100 per year, and raise the water fee by $85, the water bill for the users will go to 500 and it will remain there. We'll build up the special water reserve by approximately $83,000 a year. The hundred that, or the eighty dollars that we're putting in above and beyond, or the hundred and eighty, actually technically, and the hundred that those lot owners would put, pull us in eighty-three a year. As we do the necessary repairs, and only the repairs that we really need to do now, we can build up that reserve, and we can pay back these bonds as we go. It's a way to bail us out. All right, the second proposal, which. Um, if we finance the 2.4 million by dividing among the water users, everybody's water bill will double. Basically, at, I, I ran it at 3.75%, I think we're talking probably around 4%, which is more than that, which adds a, another million on top of that 2.4. So you're really borrowing about 3.5 million. And to do that, anybody can do the math, 4%, you know, for 2.4 million, it's, go, it's going to it's going to raise your water rate, or if people want to do it in taxes, it's going to raise it by just shy of $400 more. You're going to have an $800 water bill, and if we only do the $1.5 million repairs that we're talking about, you're going to have that figure, which is about three quarters of that, and then you still got to do these other repairs eventually. And then the third proposal is if we finance the $2.4 million through tax owners, the homeowners are going to end up paying through taxes that same amount. And looking at the appraisals, their tax bill will go up between $300 and $700. So I, I just want to you know, bring it to the public. We, we've got to be able to fill the village out. And this is just for, um, I did some assessments of if we did it through the three proposals and through taxes, and I just did an estimate of what each one of our properties assessed at so you can clearly see how the different proposals would affect you. And the only way to bail this out is the proposal I'm working on. So I have, a, I have an estimate of Nancy's property, Gloria's property, Mike's property, and my property. And I'm in the middle of the road. No matter what we do, my bill, any way we do it, is going to stay the same. So I'm not doing this to bail me out. I'm doing this to bail the average person out, and particularly Gloria and Mike. Nancy, either way, she's got it well. You would come out much better with my proposal. Otherwise, in taxes, your bill kind of works on $200, I believe $278. So, uh, bottom line, people want to know how will this affect me. And I didn't seem to be getting this across because I had so much background that I worked with Attorney Crean on. This is real, true facts. And I wanted to get that out to the public because we need to save this village from going bankrupt. And that's, that's, I, I, I make that statement. That's, that's pretty fresh. Statement. Well, I'm making that statement. Wow. It's my opinion. It's not you, yours. You think the village is going bankrupt? If, if we go if we go up with taxes to, to another four hundred dollars and we tack on another four hundred dollars on the water bill, then right now there's thirty six houses for sale in the village. And they are up some of them up on Oak Ridge, some of them are on the ponds, and people are already selling the houses. If we raise the taxes and we raise the water bill, they're gonna be bailing out. I, I We're gonna have a ghost town. That's only my opinion. Everybody's entitled to their I want to say something. I'm gonna nip this now. We, we had an open forum meeting. Mm -hmm. The plan is to have another open forum meeting mm -hmm. later today. We have enough on our plate right now for us to concentrate in other areas. Mm -hmm. I don't want to deal with the assessment. I don't want to deal with my plan right now until, no. the, the, excuse me, mm -hmm. until we get ready for the next meeting, prepare that meeting for it, and go, go to that meeting. When do you work the next meeting? 
Labor Day we saw it. Labor, Labor Day, yes. Okay. Is that it? Yeah. We talked about it last week and set it up. Yeah. 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 I agree with that. I just wanted to I point think out. we have enough going forward now mm -hmm. that this is this doesn't mean nothing to me, what you just presented. It means so, it means well, a excuse lot to me, me, let me finish, really. please. Because right now, my focus isn't on this. We got so much other stuff going on our plate. That's where my focus is right now. Yeah. I think all the focus needs to be on, on what we got. We Different agree, agree the commission, yes. Okay. Board. I agree. I agree with you on that. We have a lot so, of plate. I mean, when we get ready to have the next annual meeting, this is something that you, I would present then to the people then that you yeah, want that, to that is my intent. Okay, but and let's that, not I, get into it now. Let's, let's right. focus on Let what we Let me just got. spend 10 seconds more on that. That if we if we did tax everybody, that would 10% of the lots is, is, or the lots is actually 10% of the valuation of the whole village, which is a little over a mil million. That would save you 10% of that 400, so we only reduce the bill by $40 of that extra 400. If you do it with Mike's proposal, which half of it is in taxes, it will reduce it by 5% of that 400 extra dollars. It's really, I think, 388, something like that. It would reduce it only $20. I think, just for the public's information, you know, you need they want to know the bottom line. That's all I wanted to get out today. And, and uh, us commissioners will stick with our commission and stuff, but myself, they wanted that bottom line at the meeting. I never had a chance to tell the people the bottom line. That is the bottom line. Those are real facts. Anybody can figure 4% of a $2.4 million loan. 